And, and that leads me to the next part. The Holy Spirit is truth. Truth is not weird. Truth is not hard to figure out. It's just, it is what it is. And He is truth. Hebrews 3.7 says that He speaks. The Holy Spirit speaks. That's another aspect that He's a person. He's not an animal. Animals don't speak. He's a person. The only creatures that have communication skills with speech are humans. So the Holy Spirit is a person. He speaks. And here's the part that a lot of Christians miss. How many of you guys are prayer warriors? Who'd say, I, I love to pray? I'm an intercessor. That, it's awesome. And, and those, that know, those that are know that it's just as much a part of praying with moving your mouth as it is to listen. And if the Holy Spirit speaks, we need to shut up sometimes and listen. Too often, we, we say, I'm going to go pray. I'm going to pray. I got I to gotta break through. I'm going to break through this thing. And you just start praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. And the Holy Spirit's going, hey, I got something to tell you here. Could you, could you, could you, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's how I tell my mom talk, uh, when I'm talking to mom on the phone. I'm like, hey, uh, mom, mom, uh. she, she's good at talking. Um, I got a little bit of that too. So, you know. But we sometimes need to be quiet and listen. Guys, I gotta, I gotta, where's the single guys? Single guys, college age, nobody's single in the room. Okay, never mind, I just will skip that part. Then. I was going to give you a really good life lesson, which is sometimes your, your, your future wife will talk to you and it's not time to fix the problem, it's time to listen. Guys are geared to fix things, that's what we do. And so Lauren will talk, be talking to me and... It, for us, it's always at 10 o'clock at night because the kids are finally asleep, and I'm too tired to think straight. And she'll start going into some problem, and instead of me just listening and going, uh-huh, yeah, I, I hear you, I feel you. Because that's what she wants. I'll go, well, if you do this, it'll fix it. She's like, I, you're just trying to shut me up so you can go to sleep. I'm just like, I'm just trying to fix it. She's going, I want you to feel my pain, okay? Sometimes the Holy Spirit is speaking to us, and He wants us to feel what He's feeling. The Holy Spirit gets moved, he'll, He will move you with compassion if you'll let Him, but sometimes we're too busy to get moved with compassion because it's our lunch break and we don't have time to get moved with compassion to help the guy at the next table. We've got to move on and eat and go back to work. We have to listen for Him. and He'll speak to us and He'll speak clearly. But sometimes we've got to be quiet. Sometimes we've got to listen. I, I can tell you some of the greatest sermons I've ever got that I was able to preach out was when I was in a service listening to someone preach and one word of the Holy Spirit hit me and I stopped listening to the speaker and started listening to him and I would jot down pages of notes because I'm listening to him. And he'll do that. Here's the, here's the next one. Not only does he speak, 1 Timothy 4.1 says he speaks clearly. Clearly. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. Philip, in, in the book of Acts, he knew the difference when an angel spoke to him that he didn't even see. He knew it was an angel and not the Holy Spirit. Now, that's pretty good. I don't know how many of us in this room could say, well, that was, a, that was an angel. That wasn't God. I'm, you know, I'm like, that sounded pretty good. It must have been God to me, you know. We, we can be that in tune with the voice of the Holy Spirit. And we need to be. Uh, Another one, 1 Corinthians 2.13 says that the Holy Spirit teaches us. And, and when the Holy Spirit does that, it's gentle. He's never going to slap you in the face and drag you on the ground and say, you're such an idiot, why did you do that again? That's, that's not how the Holy Spirit works. That would be like a, a, a parent of a baby, okay? A, a newborn baby, dragging him along the ground saying, you're such an idiot, why can't you walk? God gave you legs. What's wrong with your feet? You're so dumb. What's wrong with you? Stand up, child. That's not what a parent does. And that's not what the Holy Spirit does. He gently helps you. He's, he, and, and when you mess up, his arms are wide. He's saying, I'm right here, buddy. Just fall to me every time. He's not sitting there going, again? Seriously? He's going, dude, I'm right here. Just run to me. I'll catch you. That's what daddy's doing. 